Let's get started in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Their hands have rocked to sleep, made the best chicken soup, and given the tightest hugs. And now these grandparents are keeping busy, making sure their grandchildren feel their love and support, even when they're at school. It's all for the benefit of our grandchildren, you know, and our school and our community. It's a great space. Yes. This is the Good Shepherd Catholic Academy Grandparents Club. There are more than 70 members. Last year, Diane Reynolds noticed most of the people waiting outside to pick kids up from school weren't parents, but grandparents. <laughs> Fran Heller says the club has given her the chance to get closer to her grandson. And we have so much in common. It's a nice, nice community. And we get to do things not only for our families, but to improve the school. Their goal is to support the mission of the school. They give back in whatever way they can, whether it's by modeling good citizenship or raising money and collecting donations. They've raised $4,000 so far. At their most recent meeting, the grandparents gathered new and used First Holy Communion dresses and suits for families in need. Beautiful. The work on the dresses. Look at this. This has the little slip. It's gorgeous. See the lace on here. Collar also. I can't get over the embroidery. Everything they do goes back into the school. And Effort Principal John O'Brien says keeps Good Shepherd a community. They're the ones who remember what Catholic education was like when it was taken for granted, when everybody went to a Catholic school, when Catholic school was free, and relying on the people who were there before us to, to help us succeed. At graduation, the Grandparents Club gives a child who exemplifies compassion and kindness a modest scholarship. They say it helps the students live their faith. When you put God first, everything else falls into place. It's, it just lifts you up. Christ is at the center of everything we do and we want to instill that in our grandchildren as well. Diane says a grandparent's love is what drives them. That means their work is far from over. In Marine Park, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.